follow-up tonight after a local university announces its president is leaving her position. We have a clear path forward and we are moving in a positive direction. I believe the university is stronger than it has ever been. That is Wittenberg University's message tonight after the announcement that the president is leaving her job. Wittenberg University officials saying that President Dr. Lori Joyner's last day on the job will be tomorrow, all rather sudden, and that's stirring up lots of questions. Two News reporter Birchelle Edmay is digging into why she's resigning. Well, the people I spoke with here on campus do say that this appears to be such a sudden resignation, and it's also raising eyebrows among students and faculty, and that's why I went to officials here on campus to ask questions and find the information about why this resignation happened and as well the state of the university, but it seems even officials are trying to learn those answers themselves. Less than a month after announcing a $6.5 million budget cut, the woman in charge of turning things around at Wittenberg University is leaving. Why is the president leaving? Um, Dr. Joyner resigned effective on new Friday, November 6th from the institution. And why is she resigning? We have no other information other than she has resigned. I pressed to learn more about this, but administration had no clear answers to give me. So I talked to students who are just as affected by this. Hopefully we can get out of our financial troubles. I, I don't know who a replacement could possibly be. So out of luck at the moment, I guess. Personally, as a student, I feel like there's not very much transparency at all. I know, um, and I think everyone really knows on campus, that we're facing some financial difficulty. I was really sad to hear about it. I thought that um, she was very accessible as a president. I thought that she was really concerned about um, students. Dr. Laurie Joyner was elected as president by the board of directors in 2012. She was the first woman to hold this office. Joyner was working with the university to address several challenges, the latest being the budget. The financial impact remains the same. The budget challenges remain the same. We are moving forward. But one sophomore says this sudden resignation is highlighting a problem. I think it's my right to, and all of our rights, not just mine, it's all of our students' rights to know what the next steps might be and how our education will be affected by that. I asked the university if it has already begun its search process for the next president, but officials tell me that there's actually a senior team in place and that team will be stepping up, so no date is set yet for that search process. We'll keep on top of this and bring you any developments as they come. Reporting live at Wittenberg University, Birchal Admay, 2 News, working for you.